Hi guys, Chris here. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to create a customized table view with action, which means we will have this table view here with customized cells, and whenever you press a cell here, it will activate or trigger a segue to this view controller, which will display data based on what cell you pressed. Yeah. This is two videos combined together, so I know it's a little long maybe, but I think we should just get started and hopefully you'll learn something. So the first thing we'll do is open up Xcode and hit create new Xcode project. I'll create a single view application and call it table view action app. Create, click next and hit create. So here we have a new project. I'll go into the main storyboard and add the table view just like that. Put it in here. Maybe put some constraints on it. I won't go into detail with constraints in this video, guys. But I will then go into the attribute inspector and add a prototype cell here. I will hit the table view, control click and drag to this little yellow dot here and hit data source and then hit delegate. I will then put a image in here. Image right here and some labels or just one label actually right here and I will have to create some constraints for these two here just like that and for the image I will put the constraints just like that and a static width and height that's also really good so there we go I will then go into the view controller here and add a UI view table view delegate and add UI table view data source down here and this will give me an error I think because Yes, because it wants to add these two functions which I have already discussed in my other tutorials but for you guys who haven't heard of it basically what this function does is that this defines how many rows we have in the table view and this function defines what we can how we can populate a cell with stuff like images and labels and create functionality to it right here so in here I will create a variable which will be a let's just call it a name array and this is a ns array this will be the name of the destination which we want to travel to in this case here i'll create a variable called image array because we have a bunch of images and i'll say ns array equals the array and then i want a description whoops description array which is also ns array just like that I will then add go to my desktop here and add these four pictures into into the assets folder here and from here I will go to the view did load and say wait before I do that I will create a new file I will go to file hit new a new file and then a Koga touch class and I will create a UI table view cell because we will have to create that to be able to manipulate with what's inside the cell now we have this class I'll go into the main storyboard I will hit the table view cell over here and go into the identity inspector and hit table view cell which is the class we just created and then go back to my uh, attribute inspector attributes inspector and then 
give it an identifier which is just going to be cell in my case you can give this identifier with the name however you want you can call it whatever you want I'm just gonna call it cell I'll go back to the view controller here and then in the view did load I will define these arrays and I will say name array is equal to the same as the same names which my pictures had and I had a beach and I had a city and I had a waterfall and the last one was a forest then I will say that the image array it will be equal to an array of images so I will say UI image named beach and I will do this four times for every image I have just like that and this will be city and the third will be waterfall and the fourth will be forest and then I will create a description array which I'm gonna fill out for you guys here so you I don't waste your time just like that so now we have our four variables defined then we will have to um, write some code into the functions here I will start off with the number of rows and sections where I will return um, how many name arrays we have so I will say name arrays dot count and then I will in here I will create the cell by saying let cell is equal to the table table view dot dequable reusable cell with the identifier called cell because I gave it that name before and this is done as table view cell which is the class I created and this will eventually return a cell but in here I would like to say cell dot whoops I think I forgot something yes I will go into the main of storeboard now and open the assistant editor and in here I would like to access the class I just created called table view cell and then we will create an outlet for the image by control clicking and dragging dragging it in here and call it my image and I will do the same for the label and just call it my label now when that's done I will go back to the view controller and in here I will say cell dot my image dot image will be equal to my image array and then index path dot row as you I image just like that and then cell dot my label dot text will be equal to the name array and then index path whoops path dot row as a string just like that and if we compile and run the app now we will see that we get a nice looking table view with our images and titles so now we want to create an action for our table view so in the main storyboard I will add a view controller which will display some data for us so in this view controller I will say add an image and I will add a label
which will be the title and then I will add a description label here just like that I will then go into file new and file again and create a Coco touch class and this will not be a cell this will be a UI view controller called description view controller just like that and hit create now we have that class here I will then go back into the main storyboard and select this view controller go into the identity inspector and in here select the description controller and click enter copy the name and also uh, uh, put it into the as a storyboard ID press enter and mark this a U storyboard ID because this will be the ID we use to get back and forth between these two I will then click on this view controller here go into the assistant editor and create an outlet for these three things here so I will say call it the image and the title will be the title and the description will be the description just like that and up here I will create three variables for them called get title which will be equal to a string and then a get image which will be equal to UI image and then a get description which is a string as well and in the view did load I would like to say that the title dot text is equal to the title and the description actually I'm gonna put the image up here so I will say the image dot image is equal to the image and down here the description dot text is equal to the the description boom now when that's done I'll go back into the view controller and now we will add another function called called did select row at index path so basically what this function does is that whenever I select an item from my table view or an cell this will trigger some code which will get us from this view here to this view and actually to make this more smooth I will select this view go into the editor press embed in and navigation controller because then this will this is a quick way to add a navigation controller and will make the uh, make it really smooth and making it us make it making it easy for us to get back and forth between these view controllers here I'll then go back to the view controller and add some code here first I will define the storyboard storyboard is equal to UI storyboard which is called main this is just nil and now I will call something called the DVC which stands for destination view controller so what this variable is going to do is that it is going to define the destination from our main view to the second view called description view controller so here I will write storyboard dot initial instantiate view controller with the identifier of I'll say as detailed view controller and the identifier was the same as the name so here I will write description view controller 
and to make use of the navigation controller I will say self dot navigation controller that push view controller and that will be the DVC and animate is true and then I will say actually let me see yes I will then say that DVC dot get image will be equal to our image array and then index path dot row as UI as UI image and DVC dot get title will be equal to what we call name array which is the name of the pictures and then index path dot row as strings as a string and then a DVC dot get description is equal to description whoops to the description array and then index path dot row and this will be as a string as well. So now if we compile and run, we will get a lot of errors. Let me see. Whoops, I'm doing it wrong here. I'll say get image and actually it's the opposite I will say get image here get title and get description I'm sorry for that guys and then compile and run I want to close down this iPhone 8 and as we can see we have the table view and if I click the image I will get to the other view controller and we will be displayed with the image and the title and the description for the image. This could potentially be some kind of tourist app, I don't know, but at least you guys probably got the hang of how to create actions to the table view. That's it for this video guys. I know maybe it was a little long video, but it was because it is two videos combined together for a little more detailed one. So if you've stayed until now, hopefully you learned something. And if you liked the video, hit the like button below. And of course, if you have any questions to the video or the code, then leave a comment. And for more videos in the future, then hit the subscribe button. And actually, you can, you can actually put the mouse on my finger right now and follow the mouse all the way down here and underneath below the video and hit that red button guys <laughs> see you in the future